ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਆਮ ਜਸਟ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਲਿਸਨ ਟੂ ਅ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਪਾਈ ਸਮਰ ਸਿੰਘ ਜੀ ਐਂਡ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਜਸਟ ਟੋਕ ਇਸ ਵੀ ਵਾਟ ਆਮ ਹੀਰਿੰਗ ਜਸਟ ਸ਼ੇਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਯੂ ਵਾਈ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਲਿਸਨਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਇਟ ਵਾਟ ਆਮ ਆਈ ਹੀਰਿੰਗ ਸਪੈਸੀਫਿਕਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਵੀ ਡੂ ਅ ਫਿਊ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਥਿਸ ਇਸ ਦਾ ਫਰਸਟ ਵਨ ਸੋ ਜਸਟ ਬੇਅਰ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਬੇਸਿਕਲੀ ਪਲੇ ਇਟ ਐਂਡ ਜਸਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਵਾਈਡ ਅ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਆ ਕਮੈਂਟਰੀ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਲੈਟਸ ਹੈਵ ਅ ਲਿਸਨ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਇਸ ਤੀਰੋ ਦੇਖ ਤੁਮਾਰੇ ਰੰਗਾ ਐਂਡ ਇਟਸ ਬੀਨ ਅਪਲੋਡਡ ਬਾਈ ਪਵਨ ਜੋਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਕੈਨ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਇਟ so just just off the bat you know the very first thing that he's singing now this is rag bilawal but if you listen carefully to the phrase raga ma raga ma raga ma off the bat the very first phrase that's being sung is sa komale pa which isn't really sung in bilawal uh, too much you know bilawal would more go sa shudni dha pa or sa shudni dha komale dha pa these kind of phrases so for example ranga sane da ba same ranga ma ba something like that as opposed to ranga ma you listen carefully again and see if you can uh, spot it ranga ma ranga ma the g of the ranga is on the komalni and sa ni pa is happening uh, almost like a telang you know almost like a telang sa ni pa ma ga ma ni pa ga ma this kind of movement um and you know it's always interesting to listen to listen to different people and see how they approach a certain composition so he by some reason as soon as he sung he's kind of put his stamp on it you know so this is a little bit of a deviation from uh, strict bilawal um it's more of a play on alaya bilawal which is the variant of bilawal that has commonly in it uh, but even that instead of a sing ranga ranga commonly more traditionally would come in like this sa shudni da commonly da pa something like that but he sang straight away ranga me bari dero so something to be uh, mindful of you know listen to it again we'll listen to it once more and then we'll we'll go past but it's so nicely done beautiful So when someone plays uh, the instrument so in this case he's playing the harmonium but he's playing the same tune on the harmonium he's repeating it so that tells you that it's sung with intent you know sa ne by such a variation that slipped out or anything like that no that that kind of stuff uh, really happens at this level everything is done with intent and and purpose so um now that he's repeating it with the harmonium that shows you that he intended to sing it that way you know sa da 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 he's playing it and we're like okay you know he, he he intends to do this variation in this uh in this rag <laughs> Now, another thing that's happening here um, is, you know, the first thing that we discussed is that Komal Nipa is happening, which is a bit of a variation from the rag. But there's another variation happening in the second half of the line. So when you... raga me bari de ro de ka to ma so this ga ma de ma ga this ma ga uh, notation doesn't normally happen in bilawal bilawal go ga ma de sa sa ma ga ma de sa that, that much but not re ma ga so raga we pai sab singing is raga me bari de ro de ka to ma re de ka to ma re this ga ma re ma ga this ma ga kind of comes more into a uh, rag called jinjoti ma ga re sa re ni da pa da sa re ma ma ga sa re ma ga re sa re ni da pa da sa re ma ga this re ma ga normally happens in jyoti not so much in bilawal but the way by someone you have sung it here uh, it, it introduces a kind of like a playfulness to the composition you know you're playing with the la or the tempo and uh, it makes the entire composition a bit playful which is his style in general 
रंग में वारी देर देख तुम देख तुम मेक्स द हो थिंग अ लिटल बिट मोर प्लेफ फॉर बट इट इज अ डिविएशन फ्रॉम द राग यू नो सो ब्यूटीफुली डन लेट्स हैव अ लिसन अगेन रंग में वारी देर देख तुम मदर साहिब मदर साहिब रंग में वारी तुम सुमी अंतर जामे निशदा निशा सर सा that's that's a notation that's happening, and uh, if you listen to the same composition by Naam <coughs> excuse me, uh, they sing it a little bit differently. They go up like that. This kind of uh, notation, by sub singing sings it down below. Again, it's a little bit more playful, you know. to his swami and you know another thing to notice here is when he's singing it bol chabbe ni ja rahe what that means is that the words you know he's not chewing on the words or anything you know the words are crystal clear to his swami antar jami all the vowels come through crisp to his swami to his swami antar jami you know beautiful he did it fast i'm doing it slow just so we can uh, note it you can hear it clearly to he was sad ka sanga ga he sang pani daba commonly here this is more traditional uh, alaya balaba movement listen again and you will hear and this is a more traditional way of putting the commonly in bilawal and bringing alayya bilawal into it सिग्नेचर salab let's notate this salab just briefly and see if it shows up again because a lot of the times when we listen to people sing um whatever patterns they have learned in the talim re uh, occur through their exposition of the rag that way we can kind of uh, learn them back okay this is how this person clearly sees this rag you know so it's always good to see how different people are singing uh, their phrases in the rag to get like a almost a comparative study of a rag going hi If you're enjoying this content, please help us create more by supporting us at gurbani singhitvidyalaya.com forward slash support. You can help for as little as a few dollars a month and every little bit helps. Thank you. Pamaga. So pamaga, typical bilawal. Ma. Ma pa ma pa ma ga ma a re. Re ga ma ga ga ma ba. This isn't too common, but it's still you know uh, you still find it. But re ga ma ga ga ma ba. A re ga ma ga ga ma ba. Ah. 
sounds a little bit like a chant if you're familiar with it you know sa pa re ga ma da pa re ga ma re sa re ga ma ne da pa re this is chant right? um, but see this pa is happening again and then you see that's already repeating so that gives you an insight okay this is how pai uh, sabuni maybe have learnt bilawal and that's how they sing bilawal because it's recurring re re ga ma da ga ma pa re then Re ga ma da pa. This is very common bilawal phrase. Re ga ma da pa, and he's singing it again and again. Then he sings ma pa da ni sa, ma pa da ni sa. But ga pa da ni sa also is very common uh, in bilawal. <laughs> this is some, this is something i really like about um, the percuss the percussion or tabla or jodi accompaniment that's happening with paisa most of the time that it's a bit more sensitive to the main composition the person won't just start playing something out of place you know so uh, sometimes you find that that the accompanying artist starts playing uh, random pieces but they kind of start clashing with the uh, the composition and the bani being sung so you don't want that so the the percussionist the tabla player the jodi player should be aware of the composition in the sense that okay this is the last line this line wraps back into the uh, asthai or the mukhra is about to come of the asthai oh perfect so i have this little space here where repetition is going to happen and in that if i play something it doesn't clash with the the composition so if you see the playing the tikka and then when he can see that it's wrapping back then he plays something saga mare typical bilawal phrases pa da ga ma re ga ma ba very nice word sa ga ma re ga ma pa da ga ma re ga ma ba the commonly in in a more traditional way ah see here the 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 alap that we had noted earlier it's come back it is regama ga gama ba now it's back so th- this gives you an insight okay um you know for example there is a few ways to learn a rag one way to learn a rag is to learn its key phrases and they say there's usually seven eight phrases you know it's generally what said that this seven eight or under 10 key phrases of a rag and then they repeat and whatever key phrases have been taught by a teacher to the student um, and that's how the student understands the rag they will keep singing those phrases again and again so when we listen back to someone's recording if you can identify the repeating uh, kind of core phrases you can kind of reverse engineer it for your own understanding your own knowledge and your own learning so now we you know we're only two and a half minutes into this recording but we've already noted that re re ga ma ga ga ma ba this was sung before and now the exact same notation is coming back up again you know so these patterns ma ba ni sa re re ga ma ga ga ma ba pa re re ga ma da ba sa ga ma re ga ma da ba these kind of these phrases by sub is using again and again uh, uh, so they form like the um like the core of what 
he sees Bilal as or the way he sings Bilal. So we can learn from that. <laughs> the same thing happened that I just said. <laughs> See, so it's going, now it's going to keep repeating because that forms the core phrases that he sings as beloved. come back now coming back again and again it's just in the composition that he's saying outside of the composition the dark phrases that he's singing that by sabuni is singing are just your normal um you know your standard beloved it's just those comp the, the in the composition where there's small tweaks that are happening that add his personality his style you know <laughs> Gama vada ni zada ni vada ma va gama de ma ga ha va va va. It's typical by someone sing style, you know. Same thing that we discussed earlier happened here as well. Now I'm curious to listen to what the tabla player plays and how <coughs> how he plays and where he plays. Because he hasn't in, in, interrupted yet. He hasn't <coughs> kind of clashed with the composition yet. So he's very mindful. You can hear it in uh, people's playing. If they're mindful of the composition or if they're, you know, kind of have certain things set in their mind or in their hand that they want to play and they're just looking for space to play it. You know, there's two types of people. One, one is you look for space to play. Uh, you play what you want to play, where you want to play. The other thing is you let the composition dictate. You know, and the more um, kind of mature player will, will let the composition dictate. Same with the vocalist. The more mature vocalist will let the composition dictate what should be sung where, not themselves. They'll let the composition dictate. Same thing with per percussion accompaniment. They'll let the composition dictate. Ki, yes, just because I'm playing iktal doesn't mean I'll play everything I know in iktal or whatever I want to play in iktal wherever I want. No, I've got my material, but I'll listen to the composition and, and let's see what the composition gives me. And the opportunities that the composition uh, presents, I'm going to capitalize on those and play what suits the composition best. Not the other way around. So it's interesting, you know, to listen. Okay, I think we're almost at 20 minutes and we're only four minutes in, but we've covered uh, the Asthai in the, the first Tantra. Let's wrap that one there. So next time we'll do someone else's composition and we'll keep kind of cycling through you can tell me as well what you want me to to listen to and share with with you what i'm kind of hearing 20 minutes of uh commentary on a four minute recording is is quite a lot so we'll finish there